Today's video is gonna be all about this New Year's glam makeup look. It is a smoky eye with silver and then you have metallic lipstick. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm first priming my eyes with this Lorac eyeshadow base and then I'm gonna be setting it with this yellow single shadow from Ofra. I'm also gonna be applying some tape to size of my eyes. So to begin, I'm going to be using Beijing from Carity Beauty. And then I'm going to go ahead and use um, this other Ofra shadow, which is a darker grayish shadow, just to trace out where I want the black to go. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this Ofra black shadow as well. I don't know the names, but I will leave it down below for you guys. And with a small presser brush, I'm just focusing this on the outer corner and into the crease. Now to clean up the look and cut the crease, I'm going to be adding some concealer with a flat shader brush just to the inner corner of the eye and then to the center. And then I'm going to be adding some ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Liberty. It is a beautiful silver and I'm just going to apply that right on top of that concealer with a flat shader brush. I think that this is a perfect color to wear for New Year's. I'm going to add more of this Ofra black shadow and then with a blending brush I'm going to blend it out then pack on more and then blend it out. This will allow us to work slowly with the shadow so that it doesn't get everywhere because black is a very messy color. I wanted this look to be really dark and smoky especially on the outer corners of my eyes. So that is where I am pretty much focusing most of that pigment and then I am bringing the rest into the crease. Now to start our face, I'm going to be using the Smashbox uh, primer. I've been loving this. It just really gives you a nice smooth face. And then I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match foundation, which has been a while since I have used it. And I forgot how good it is. And this is in W2, so I'm just going to blend it all out with the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. And then for concealer, I'm going to be using my Tarte shape take concealer in light and i'm going to put this on the center of my face as always to conceal and highlight those areas and then i'm going to be blending out with the same sponge i actually look really pale but it will be fine once we add some color to our face i'm going to set that concealer with the laura mercier translucent powder another one of my go-to favorites and i'm also using this to set my face to contour i'm going to be using my anastasia contour kit you guys know this is my stuff. I use it all the time and I'm just going to contour my face with it. And I really love this contour kit. And then I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face a little bit more with this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which I also really love and this big fluffy brush. Now for blush, I'm going to go into this um, BH Cosmetics blush palette and I'm just going to use that like peachy blush to add some color to my cheeks. And then for highlights, I'm going to go into this LA Girl highlight. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I will leave it down below for you guys. It's pretty much a champagne kind of goldish highlight. And then I'm going to go back into that Ofra black shadow. And with a small presser brush, I'm going to just buff this really tight to my lower lash line. This will give our eyes a nice smoked out effect. And it will just help to kind of seal the look together with the rest of our eyes on top. And then for a little pop, I'm going to also add some of that highlight on the inner corners of my eyes. For mascara, I'm going to add some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. For lips, I'm first going in with this ColourPop Metallic Lip in Queen. And then on top, I'm just going to put Zebra. Hey guys, so this is the final look. I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. Unfortunately, I am sick, so I was not able to record as many videos as I wanted. I really wanted at least to put one tutorial. I managed to get it done, and I am really happy about that. I hope that you all have a wonderful and very happy new year. Be safe for this new year's as well. Be careful when driving. Thank you guys so much for watching as always.